Hey everyone, this is Nate from Get Voight, and today we're talking about SIP proxy servers. Let's get right to it. SIP, or Session Initiation Protocol, is a signaling protocol that guides software systems to initiate, modify, and terminate real-time media sessions like voice calls, video conferencing, and messaging. SIP dictates the rules and systems that guide user devices through setting up, maintaining, and ultimately ending the media session. As the most commonly used signaling protocol in VoIP, SIP works in conjunction with several other protocols that handle other aspects of the media session. A SIP proxy server is an intermediary program that forwards, requests, and receives data from SIP endpoints. During a SIP session, each endpoint is assigned a proxy server that handles SIP data transactions on the endpoint's behalf, registering and locating other users, inviting participants, connecting and storing the call, and modifying the session when needed. Proxy servers not only interact with each other on behalf of users, but with other servers, like location and registrar servers, which are essential to establishing a VoIP call. SIP proxy servers forward and receive requests and data messages to user endpoints or other servers. Each end user in a SIP session typically has their own proxy server, which connects them to VoIP data servers and other end users' proxies. Put simply, SIP proxy servers act as middlemen that carry out the data exchange between endpoints during a SIP session. There are two main types of SIP proxy servers, stateless and stateful servers, which vary by speed and function. Redirect servers, however, are not proxy servers, but are worth mentioning because they work closely with proxies. Stateless proxies simply forward the request to their destination without checking the packet header, modifying the message, or providing any receipts back to the client who sent the request. This demands less memory and CPU than stateful proxies, and they can quickly transmit many data requests. A stateful proxy scans and records information about each request, data packet, and message it sends, using information about the transaction's state to learn and store information about users, sessions, and servers. This provides quicker and better data for subsequent actions, enabling users to revisit transaction histories in case there's an issue with packet delivery or a call quality issue like latency or jitter. However, due to the greater memory and CPU demands involved, stable proxies are more expensive than stateless. Redirect servers receive all proxy server requests and inform the proxy if the destination's IP address has changed. The proxy server then uses this information to adjust the packet header and send the request to the correct destination. A redirect server is not a proxy server itself, but processes each proxy server request. Now let's take a look through the features of a proxy server. Proxy servers ensure that backend requests, audio data, and media calls reach the correct endpoint quickly. They first authorize the appropriate IP address to send data, confirm its location, and begin the back and forth data transaction between client and server. This connection is critical for call routing, which connects callers to the right call recipient. To establish a VoIP connection, SIP proxies send requests to a SIP registrar server to retrieve each call recipient's IP address and verify the endpoint's identity. This provides security for the call and ensures that callers connect to the right endpoints. Stateful SIP proxies verify that each data packet travels to the right destination and correct the packet or destination if something is wrong. Stateful SIP proxies can modify packet headers and addresses to navigate requests and messages to their endpoint. SIP proxy servers act as a gateway or firewall between the local network and the internet. Proxies examine incoming data transaction headers to ensure they're coming from the appropriate client before allowing the data to reach the local network and endpoint. SIP proxies provide security by protecting the local network from data from unverified sources. SIP proxy servers send data requests and messages to each other to establish the issue between peers. Once the SIP proxies have set up the session, Real-Time Messaging Protocol, or RTP, can facilitate direct peer-to-peer, -peer, or P2P, media streaming between call parties. SIP proxy servers manage inbound and outbound data for endpoints within the local network. Proxy servers can distribute inbound requests and data demands evenly among multiple servers, balancing the bandwidth load so that each user retains better call quality. All SIP interactions use proxy servers to intermediate communications between endpoints. While your local network may utilize a personal proxy server, the SIP provider will also assign a proxy server to manage SIP transactions for your device. SIP is responsible for setting up, initiating, modifying, and terminating VoIP calls. 
While other protocols like H323 offer similar functionality, SIP is the most popular signaling protocol for VoIP call initiation because it's reliable and easy for developers to use. If you found this video informative, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from GetVoIP.